Good morning everyone. We are anchored off Koh Samui, which is an island uh, south of Pattaya. We have just said goodbye to our good friends Nikki and Jason. They left yesterday, they flew out of Koh Samui, they're heading off to China to see their new boat. Very exciting times for them. And Nick and I are left here by ourselves, uh, settling in to living on Ruby Rose 2. And I have to say, it's a bit of an adjustment. It really is. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more, but I think for now, it's fair to say that we're learning a lot. It's a steep learning curve. We've made some mistakes, which have really kind of been stupid mistakes. I don't even know what we were thinking, but I think that's what happens when you're just in a completely new environment, learning a brand new boat, and you know things that seem obvious and that you used to do without a thought suddenly you have to I don't know put a lot more thought into and it just sometimes doesn't go quite to plan so we've been just trying to be patient with ourselves settling in and learning how to live on a 45 foot catamaran it's quite quite different to Ruby Rose um, in lots of ways I'll get into that later but now I just anchored uh, in a rather breezy anchorage of Beaupart or Beauput or Beaufort. I'm not sure how to pronounce it and I'm really sorry for butchering that pronunciation, but uh, Koh Samui, Fisherman's Village in Koh Samui. And this is a great place for us to be based because there's a lot going on ashore. We can go to the supermarket, we can go to the hardware store, we can certainly go to the beach bars and have a nice little beer in the evening and just enjoy the ambience. This is a great place just to settle into life on board again. I'm Teresa, this is Nick, and this is Ruby Rose 2, our floating home. Join us as we settle into life on board our brand new catamaran, documenting our adventures and never shying away from the reality of boat life. Subscribe to our channel and leave a comment because we love to hear from you and a big thanks to our community of patrons. What are you up to? Making your breakfast again. What are you having? You've demanded a smoothie bowl. Well, I see uh, uh, peanut butter and oats, so that's a good start. So it's what, nine o'clock in the morning? Yep, nine o'clock on the nail, and we've got 21 amps net going in. This has got to be in these teeth before you take the clutch off. It was, and it's still pulling out, even though it's in the teeth. Okay, we got the dinghy down. We're heading ashore, and we're going to have a little explore, do some jobs, and we are seeing our patrons as well. They're here on holiday, so we're going to catch up and have a coffee. You know what I was saying earlier about just getting used to the way that Ruby Rose 2 is different to Ruby Rose? I think that the dinghy situation is one of those examples. You only learn by doing it wrong and now I'll know. But that said, the, the Davis situation is, um, is not optimal. The line does need to be changed or the clutch needs to be changed. Something needs to be changed. The dinghy is just too heavy for it. The other issue with the Davits is that the Davit system is that it's a single line system which is fine, except that when you want to drain the dinghy, you have to like rig up another way of securing the bow and then um, dropping the stern so you can drain it. You want to bring it up a little bit more?
It's 10 to 6 at night and Nick just said to me, where's the camera? Turn the camera on. I have something to say. I look like a sack of shit. I have a haircut which looks like... Yeah, straight. you need to sort your hair out, babe. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, I need to shave. Yeah. Please go sure. I think today has been um, in the morning. I we well, we met some we met some patrons actually for coffee. That was nice. Yeah. But this afternoon it's just addressing minor 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 boat niggles. So today's minor boat niggle is the davit system on this boat. We've never had davits before. There's a lot of people I'm sure watching this being like. Are you guys stupid? Like, the <laughs> dabbers are not that difficult. Well, um, We've just never had them before. But the problem is that it's, uh, we have a small problem. One that the, the davit line, well, we've got a few, but the one that the davit line is too small for the clutch, which means it slips and that will be changed out when we get back to Bataille. Number two is that the, the little kind of lines, the spectral lines that go from the boat, from the boat to the davits, are not even and so when we try and lift the dinghy it just goes all over the place to the point at which it actually almost inverts and that's terrifying and so i've literally been trying to centralize the, the weight all more all afternoon using shackles and all sorts of other kind of like heath robinson style devices so hopefully now when we come back from the pub which is where we're going shortly once i've showered we will be able to um lift the dinghy without shenanigans right why don't you show me what you've done to the dinghy you see that there's those spectral lines that are chaffed through? Yeah. The, the, the hoisting points? Mm -hmm. Literally, there was just a hole through the spectral line that we were putting a shackle to, and it's not good. Mm. So I put a shackle through it, so now you attach a shackle to a shackle. Why don't you go get showered and we can go and get a drink? One, two, three, four. Through the teeth of this clutch and back onto itself like that, yeah? So this now shouldn't move at all. Okay. Yeah? So let's just see how this works. I hope it might be a disaster. Go. <laughs> Literally, we've been in the bar for three hours, and now she's like, now we need to film an outro. Anyway, yeah. but thank you for watching this episode. We'll be back next week with another episode. Subscribe, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, and yeah, it's three spots. Leave a comment. There you go. Have a nice evening. Good night. Oh, I'm going to do that. That was f perfect. <laughs> that was f perfect, and you know it as well. Even you were like slightly impressed with like, f hell, he looked all the half the time but then he pulls something out of the bag. You actually look really nice tonight. Nah. I'll, do, I'll do one and then people can vote in the comments. Oh, yeah, okay, 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 you do it. Okay, go. Okay. One take though. There's a, that's the trick. All one right. take. No. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Hey everyone. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, we are settling right into life on Ruby Rose 2. If you like this episode, then please don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment down below, give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you next week with a brand new episode. You sound like one of those people that sells carpets on Australian TV. <laughs> I take great offense to that. <laughs> Bye!